and you want to move in the technical side or in the functional side? I was doing a little research and what I found out that there are more jobs in the technical area. Uh, yeah, because uh, most of the like functional people are uh, using the super users and uh, their own people for a while, but still there are uh, there are jobs for the technical side. So I would rather go for that. Good identification. And coming to the people of India's market, they will look into they will look for technical. Okay. That means a technical person having knowledge on functionality. Okay. That means if you are good in the technical side, but they are expecting something functional from you, functional side from you. Okay. That means if you are saying to them, after completing this course, you will prepare some resume like this. Yes, I worked in the of HRMS from last five to six years. Like that, you will prepare your resume. Then they will ask some questions like this. In which are all the modules you work in your HRMS? Uh -huh. That means on the payroll side you worked, or on the benefit side you worked, or on the administration side you worked. Uh -huh. Maybe they will ask a question. Why? Because you are saying yes, I got, I have good experience in the function. So the people say, uh -huh. I did number of projects. I involved in number of projects. I involved in number of implementations. You will say like that. But they will ask a question and explain. Then you can explain the benefits module in the people of how it will work. You can explain the payroll concept, how the payroll process will run like that. That means in the US job market. In considering I'm considering about the US job market, I'm explaining this. Uh -huh. Now coming to this course session, here in this course we will cover technical in-depth concepts from basics to in-depth. And in the functional side, I will give you one overview. That means what are all the functionalities, how the data flow will be in the HMS. Okay. Next, to complete all these training sessions, minimum 30 working sessions are required. Okay. 30 working sessions means entirely one hour. It's mandatory to complete the training. And depends on your frequency and your understanding. Okay. How how, free, how fast you are at, uh, <coughs> following me, how far you are getting. Okay. And in this time, I will give you assignments also. Okay. It will help you for you, not for me. Once you give the assignments, yes, yes, this candidate is enough cap have an enough capability to complete sorry, to compete with other assignments and advanced concepts. Okay. I can understand. And one more thing. Coming to the people's of basic explanation, yes, by looking this PPT, you can understand, yes, it's an ERP. As well as a SAP, it's an ERP. The normal ERP concept, what's the purpose of ERP? It will integrate all the sources in the organization. Mm -hmm. That means you can integrate with HR with finance, HR with CRM, HR with LAN, everything you can integrate. That means it will make your data flow automatic. By using this ERP, the main functionality you will do. The main purpose is we will automate the activities. But there is uh, no there is only no manual intervention. But, but PeopleSoft is only for the HR, right? Or the, it has a no, 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 no. Don't think in that. PeopleSoft is supporting all other modules. HR it is providing the solutions. Finance uh -huh. is providing the solutions. Every best. Okay. It's like another SAP. It's like a uh, SAP. It means. Yes, yes. I will explain. I will explain. Let me complete. Okay. In the people's of it's a basic explanation about the people's of it's founded in 1987. Presently, thousand of companies that are using more than 4,700 organizations using okay. the people's of software. Now, any ERP, coming to, I'm talking about the ERP, I'm not exactly the people's of any ERP, you will observe two types of technologies, functional and technical. Third okay. part will be there. That's the okay. We are not handling such servers inside of PPA, that's why we are abiding the concept. You know, in, even in your SAP also, you will observe two types of technologies. SAP ABAP. That means it's a technical concept in SAP. You will observe some other modules in SAP. SAP BI. SAP <coughs> PICO. SAP SD like that. Here also, number of functionalities are there. These are all the functional modules supported by people. 
Okay, okay. So it's a complete package. Don't think in a way PeopleSoft is only for HR. Why? Because every no, everyone will say PeopleSoft HR. Why? Because it's, it is number one in the side of HR. Oh, okay. As well as SAP is number one in the side of material okay. management modules. Production modules, SAP will be in the number one side. Coming to productive financials, it's a yeah, it will be it is number one in the side of finance. But some of the clients are using even tools of finance. Some of the clients are using tools of CRM. Coming to the CRM, everyone will know about the civil CRM. It has that much of popular civil. Civil is a concept. Already Oracle bought all these technologies. Oracle bought civil, Oracle bought tools. Some rumors will be there. some rumors are there in the outside market. Oracle will vanish all the technologies. And it will be replaced by fusion, but it is not possible. And these are all the functional modules about the Microsoft. HCM, yes, human capital management. That means an active model is a challenge. Human resources management system. In nowadays, in the present advanced versions, we are calling it HCM, HCM, human capital management. FCM, financial and supply chain management. You know, land management. Relationship management, performance management, campus solutions. Number of universities are using campus solutions in the US. A lot of universities, a lot of organizations, and of solutions. These are all the modules. Now, if you learn the technical, what is the beauty of the technical? If you learn the technical, yes, you are a capable person to work on any of them. If you are learning only HCM functional. Yes, there is a boundary. You can work only in the human resource management system. There is no chance to work on finance. But if you are the technical back, the functionality will differ. But the back end technical development is common for all modules. That's why you can find number of jobs in the business of technical side. I think you know something about the HR activities, right? Recruiting is an HR activity. Yes. Maintaining the employee data is a HR activity. Applying the benefits, adding the benefits, plans, benefit uh -huh. groups, everything, and running the payroll, maintaining the pension system, maintaining the stock, and maintaining the employee self service requests and managerial activities, maintaining the timesheets. That means you can monitor everything in the HR process. Then Yes, you are a good person to land because of HRMS technical. Why? Because you know something about the HR module, HR activity. Then coming to the people's so people tools technical part, these five topics are core development tools. Application design, application engine, component interface, SPI and report. Apart from this, number of other tools are there. Application packages, XML publisher, PS query. Number of tools are there, but these five tools are the core development tools. We will use very regularly in our practice. So All other tools also we will use. Depends on the requirement. Okay. Coming to the session part, first we will start with the application designer. Once we completed the application designer, we will jump on to the people code. Once the people code is completed, we will jump on to the application engine and component interface. Once it's completed, we will move with the SDR and we will finish the code development tools explanation with the help of some functional concepts. And once we completed all these tools, I will try to explain some advanced concepts for you. And no need to worry, if you don't know about the coding, if you don't know about the programming language, if you don't have any knowledge in the programming knowledge, programming language also, yes, you can learn the people tools. Okay. Do you have any knowledge in the side of C programming language? No, I have no programming knowledge, like zero. Do you know about the database concepts? Yeah, database concept I know. That means, yes. A table is there in the database. Number of columns is there in the table. If you are selecting some data, you will write some self-statement, right? Select an R from so and so. Okay. 
That means in the database side also we need some knowledge. What is the knowledge? That means we need minimum as select, insert, update and delete statements and some simple joins are required. Okay, no need to worry about the joins. Okay, I will teach you how to you how how you can land the joins easily. Go to the w3schools.com, try to practice the joins. Otherwise, we will use the joins in our practice. First, we start with the application design. It will take minimum three to four days to complete the app design. Okay. Before completing the application designer, you can practice the SQL. Why? Well, because when, when we are working with the application designer, we won't touch any code and any database concepts. It's just a pure GUI tool. It's a graphical user interface tool. Okay. <coughs> Once I'm explaining the application designer in the back end, you can practice the SQL codes for your reports. Once we enter into the people code, no need to worry. It's a people, it's a coding session purely designed by the people. Okay. Okay. It's a proprietary language of the people. Okay. If you know the if concept, if statements, yes, if condition is there. If you know that if you know what is the purpose of the if condition, yes, it's enough. If you know the for loops, what is the concept of for loop? Yes, it is enough for us. We will use these commands only in our people. With some, we will take some help from the people of predefined functions. And one more thing: once we completed the application designer, I will provide a task in the application designer side. And once we complete the people code, I will provide one more task for you to practice. Yeah. Once you completed the task, you will also feel some comfort level in the side of practice. Yes, I can do it. That means I will use some complex tasks. Okay. As I said. Then only you will identify yourself where you are. And in every session, why because from Monday onwards I will take the regular sessions, not by tomorrow. Any doubts from your side? Okay, and uh, how we are going to practice like uh, the practice machine, the practice machine, they will arrange for you. Uh, I don't know about that because it's my local machine. It's my personal laptop. What I'm teaching. Because when okay. I did the SAP, they give me a, a system login information, right? So I can exactly. I just exactly. log in and in the SAP, they will provide some server for you to practice. Might be in the side of people's of practice also. Huh. Yes. They are typing like this, about practice I will give the server access. They will provide the server access for you. Here they come, here they type. Okay. Okay, and what, then what about you can contact with them. You can contact with them for the practice. No issues. And what, what about the uh, uh, training material, sir? Everything, whatever information like this, this is the basic PPT. Whatever the PPTs I have, I will uh -huh. share with you. And online repository is there. Uh -huh. I will show you the online repository, but reading the people books, we will call those information is people books in online, but okay. reading the people books is also an art. I will show you what are all the topics you have to cover from your side uh -huh. at the time of practice. I will show you everything once we start in the regular session. Okay. I will show you everything. Okay. And what, what about after training uh, support, like if we go to the job and there is a problem, can we, can we reach you guys? <laughs> first, first, let me complete the training. Then, once you go into your job, huh. you can manage. I will give you all debugging techniques in the job side. Excellent. No issues. Otherwise, still you are getting any issues. Just, I will provide my personal number for you. You can huh. call me at any time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because showing five year experience and going on first job is very difficult. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Everyone, every student is having this much of phobia. I, I used to do H1B in US, right? I used to file uh, H1B for the so many people. So they go yeah. to the training and uh, like next flight they used to come back. <laughs> because they, because uh, they, gave, they gave them uh, Microsoft Visual to open. 
and SAP consultant didn't know how to open Microsoft Visio. Yeah, somebody was there, but I will give you some support, but you don't need any support. I will okay. give you how to handle the work also. I will provide you the inputs. Okay. Yep. First, let me complete the training. After post the post training, we will discuss about all these things. Okay, sir. Yep. Okay. In this weekend, they will plan about this all these um, training sessions and the training uh, schedule uh -huh. and the practice mission, everything, and they will implement you about that. Sure. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Nice talking. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yep. Nice. Have a nice weekend. Bye. You too. Thank you so much.